before I go up these stairs. I can do this. Yeah, I can do this. Hi guys, I've been meaning to start a vlog up on the mountain and I think I finally managed. So today I was actually trying to finish all the rolls that I've been developing. I only have two more rolls to develop and then I'm finally done. So I'm almost done with all my rolls but today it was finally a bit sunny so I decided to actually go out instead of developing more and yeah, shooting more when I'm supposed to be finishing is a bit crazy i'm almost done but yeah i just wanted to get outside the weather forecast said that it would be raining for the next 10 days or something like that so i just needed to use this opportunity it smells like autumn it's very foresty up here already and yeah it, it feels good to be outside and near woods and trees and all that I'm happy. I feel some drops. Oh no, I think it might be starting to rain. <laughs> oh god. But it's actually sunny. I don't know what this is. Okay, I think I'm gonna go a bit further and see whether I can find some pictures. <sighs> Bye! much happening photo wise but I've been walking around and it's, it's very nice and it smells so much of autumn and of wet forest and I love it. I also managed to avoid most of the mud I think. I think I know the area well enough now that I can find my way around all the slippery bits so trying to stay safe <laughs> you know in the mountains when it's been raining always a bit you know dangerous a little but 
I am doing my best here to stay safe. And now I just wanted to take a look at my favorite cliff. Nice, no? And since it's autumn, it's getting already quite dark at this hour and I'm probably going to head back. It was only supposed to be a short walk and I wasn't really expecting to take many pictures or do much at all. I just wanted to get outside before it starts to rain again. In winter, it's always very, very rainy here and the weather forecast has been dismal. So I'm glad that there was at least one day when I could go outside. I feel myself relaxing whenever I'm up here. I can breathe a little easier with the forest and all. Yeah, I'm a forest person. So yeah, I'm gonna go back now and then maybe edit some more pictures perhaps because I still need to do some free rolls of the tank I developed yesterday. And then I have one more tank to develop and to edit those and then I'm done. I'm so excited. It's been a long, long time since I've been actually up to date. I actually checked the date the other day. The last time I remember actually being up to date was sometime at the beginning of 2017. So it's almost the end of an era. It's gonna be very interesting. I'm not even sure yet what I'm gonna do with my life. So yeah, I'm gonna go back now. See you later. guys I'm out here to finish a roll that I have in here and I made the mistake a few weeks ago to load my Leica with ISO 100 film and it's winter so that's not particularly useful and now I'm trying to finish the roll and the light is already going so a bit of a problem but I will try to finish it now somehow I'll try to figure something out Okay, talk to you later.
guys. The other day I actually managed to finish the role that I was shooting. And I was shooting that role for quite a while. Like several weeks, if not even months. So the problem was that I loaded ISO 100 film into my Leica in autumn. And the autumn here is very rainy and dark. So every time I wanted to go out and shoot with the Leica, there was a film in there that was of very little use to me. In the end, I just had to make an effort to get it out of there because we wanted to go on a trip and I wanted to have the Leica free for some faster film. Of course, you can shoot ISO 100 film if you're shooting one of these lenses. It's a Voigtlander Nocton 50mm f1.1 lens, which means that it's very fast. But yeah, even, even at f1.1, there are limits to that. <laughs> at least if you don't want to shoot with a tripod, right? Also, to be honest, after developing all that film, I needed a break. And I didn't really shoot all that much because I didn't want to develop more. But yeah, now I've shot a few rolls and I have more stuff to develop. Not too bad. Maybe five more rolls or something like that. So I can manage. I think I can survive. Yeah. But this is the problem with shooting film. You have to develop it too. And it takes time. And it's a lot of work. But it's worth it for the way it looks. But I'm really happy that I'm now up to date. I don't really have any more roles to develop. I have to collect roles to finish up tanks so that I don't waste my time and all of that. It's uh, quite amazing. A totally different way of working. <laughs> and I don't dread the mountain of roles that I have to develop, which is a good feeling. Now I just have to be careful not to collect another mountain of roles to develop. So I have to keep up to date, really. But I think now I can manage. <laughs> so yes, I'm still very happy about having finished this huge backlog. I think in total I edited about 150 rolls of film last year. And I developed another at least 50. So that was a lot. <laughs> Now, this year, I will see how much I shoot and whether I get to develop as much. We'll see. So I was in a bit of a rush when I was out shooting because it was getting a bit late and it was already getting dark. But in the end, I managed to finish the roll and I'm quite happy with what I got in the end. And this place is a very small town, so shooting street can be a bit... Hmm, but I quite like some of the pictures I took, so that's great. And maybe you like them too? Well, if you enjoyed this video, then please leave a like. And subscribe if you haven't done so already. It really helps out my channel, so I would appreciate it. And of course, you can expect more videos like this one. So if you enjoyed this, then consider sticking around. I would be happy to have you here. Well, I hope to see you soon for another video. Bye. <laughs> I only have two more rolls to the develop. The, the, the develop. I've been meaning. I can't do this one hundred.